Hello everyone. Welcome to the Geo Ecologist. So continuing back from the previous lecture, today we are going to continue in the session 2 of the field work and research methodology that we have started a series. So field work and research methodology in last lecture we discussed about the basics, about the know-how, about the questions that comes to our mind regarding the field work and research methodology. So today we are going to discuss further and the topic is approach and need to conduct the field work so in session 2 we are going to discuss about the approaches that how can we approach how can we look into the field work how is it a science or an art all right and what are the approaches to it and why is this need why do we need this field work what is the need to conduct this field work so we are going to discuss about these things in this session 2 so let's go ahead so discussing approaches and the need to understand the field work may be approached by following methodologies that we have listed so the first one the approach one so a geographer or a social science researcher that we say with a descriptive study observes what is where okay the first thing is that a geographer is observing the what is where thing that we discussed in the session 1 in the empirical world right in the experimental in the directly observable world and then they prepare reports all right those facts in the form of maps pictures prose that is the text that is the interpretation so first approach is largely the descriptive approach the empirical approach the direct approach and then interpreting it and reporting it through maps pictures and prose so this is the first approach towards doing a field work okay now the second approach the second approach is more way interesting it says that a geographer aiming to develop locational principles now very interesting point comes here is locational principles so for geography for ecology location is very much an important point so locational principles matter so for a geographer who aims to develop why something or a phenomena is at a particular place why is it located at a particular place then this second approach is about that so basically in this approach the researcher observes the empirical world to learn the locations of the phenomena in terms of their relative positions so why one thing is located at a particular point for example industrial location theory right so why a particular industry is only located at a particular place why a particular settlement is located in a particular way like for example the all the cities all the civilizations near river valleys so what is the interrelative positional approach about it what is the locational principle behind it so these are the second approaches looking at locational principles okay so eventually geographer tries to generalize these locational relationships so in second approach we talk about the locational relationships of these spaces okay so approach third now the third approach is a different approach because in this approach we are talking about spatial analysis the term is spatial analysis in earlier approach it was locational principle now we have spatial analysis the analysis of space so a geographer striving to apply spatial analysis studies the geographic principles which have already been established through various scholars through their theories and that a geographer studies through review of literature so all kinds of literature or a specific literature that is related to the work that a geographer is looking towards doing so they review the literature and then get that knowledge that is already established and then they try to study that and further investigate and observe the existing locations of phenomena in a particular area okay so study area has to be very clearly defined in this process and then these principles are later applied to the observed locational facts in order to formulate strategies so what happens the already existing theories are now applied to the locational facts that we collect during the field work to formulate strategies and attempt is made to predict future and future patterns of the phenomena so what happens using the already existing principles of spatial analysis this new observation and investigation that is conducted in a particular area the attempt is made 
to formulate strategies in order to predict the future of that particular phenomena or an event or a space that is the future pattern of that particular phenomena so in that case the spatial analysis is done this is the third approach and fourth approach that is the last approach that we are going to discuss is about when a geographer is primarily engaged in theoretical investigation so only theoretically a geographer investigates how this is done through deductive reasoning so deductive reasoning is very much important in which we take lots of factor and then try to deduce it to simplicity so concentrates on ded deductive reasoning in order to analyze and predict where certain phenomena would be located under specific condition so if a condition is x so where is the location if condition is y so where can be the location so what happens a geographer theoretically investigates in this process so this is the fourth approach of doing a field work so we have learned about the four approaches and now we are going to answer this question why why do we do field work what is its need so field work has been common technique in all the social sciences during 20th century and especially in the contemporary research remember in contemporary research field work has become one of the most common techniques that's why it is very much important to know about it but field research including collection of data through household surveys as we do or site based in remote locations it can be very painful isn't it it can be expensive time consuming and in some cases also invasive you're trying to invade into somebody's privacy so if you're going to the field and you know you are asking questions to people going to their homes many time it can be invasive as well so it is it has lots of issues related to it isn't it so then pertinent question is that why do we do it who would like to have you know strangers asking questions like personal questions what is your level of education how much do you earn what do you use your forest and land for is there any illegal usage or how do you dispose your waste isn't it asking very personal questions to people going into the field isn't it so then the question again is why why do we need to do this field work so let's find out the answer so the answer is in the following context so the first idea of answer is overcoming lack of data so many a times when we start doing our research based on our field work or maybe our review of literature there is lack of data of that particular kind so many a times data is not available isn't it so what happens if you need a contextual data that can only be collected from the ground which has not been collected already by any agency for example survey of india for example natmo for example a survey or maybe a census of india has not collected that data till now so where are we going to get the data from but we have to find out answers so first important point is that field work is necessary to overcome the lack of data remember this then understanding the context as much as you read the review of literature as much as you read the travel logs or anything related to a particular area the context is best understood when you yourself become the part of it remember my statement that when you yourself become when a researcher becomes the part of that particular context that gives the best understanding through own senses isn't it so understanding the context of the problem that we are going to learn becomes the most important factor while we do the plan the field work isn't it so apart from overcoming lack of data understanding the context is very much important even if we have any of the approaches that we have discussed through any approach contextual understanding is very much the most important factor right then we have quality control or check of data quality how can we do it so quality control cannot be done if it is in somebody's else's hand for example if you have to have a data related to climate weather conditions weather updates how do you know the weather data the temperature or precipitation data that you are taking from some agency is of good quality do you know that it has been monitored regularly or the instruments have been placed properly so even a degree of difference can predict climate change and its impact you know in a adverse condition or it can show anomaly so quality control is very much important and quality is best assessed judged 
by researcher himself at the first point because if we don't understand the quality of data we cannot give the rational explanation unless we understand that of what quality our data is and quality check is very much important in any kind of research especially that's why we need to go to the field and collect the data look at the data quality ourselves and rely mostly on to ourselves than any other agency means not on the secondary sources try dedicate yourself to the field as much as possible in order to reduce the data anomalies so data quality is another important point then we have opening of new frontiers of knowledge as much as knowledge is given in the review of literature in whichever theory we study remember always going to field helps in answering and contradicting already existing theories challenging already existing narratives the grand theories so many a times going to the ground going to the field opens up new forms of knowledge so for this new forms of knowledge the novel ideas coming to research it is very much important than people go to field isn't it so that opens up new frontier of knowledge that's why it is very much important to go to the field and the last one is to gratify the interest of a researcher what is a researcher's interest what is the researcher's need all right is it the social need is it the ethical need or just for the research isn't it for answering the research questions so to gratify your own need to gratify researcher's need to gratify the research's need that what is the need of the research that you are into why is it needed isn't it that's why field work becomes very much important as a whole so the need for field work is established by these five factors so overcoming lack of data understanding the context quality check opening new frontiers of knowledge and gratifying the interest of researchers so these are the five important answers for those questions that we said why field work all right so now you must have understood why field work is important so let's look at further that what is its need can be simplified into further points so first reason out of the 10 reasons why you should do field work the first reason is to obtain original and accurate information or data about geographical feature or phenomena that we are discussing as often such information may not exist in already documented form so if something is not existing to obtain original and accurate information that is the first reason then to fetch up to date information so many times the books the literature that we read is old isn't it so to get updated it's important then to gather first hand information that already may not be distorted in any form so if we gain any information from others it may get distorted but we need first hand information so less of distortion is there in anything and integrating it to the classroom learning with real time examples in the field for example many times in classroom we study a theory and we keep it till there so if a theory is understood in the context it actually gives more understanding about the field so what happens real time examples is important to integrate classroom learning classroom theory in the field to acquire research skills isn't it so research skills are observation interviews questionnaire survey photography and so many others isn't it a team work if you are going for a field work with a team so all these research skills are polished that's why also we should carry out field work we should learn that isn't it now the sixth important point to acquire those skills of use of geographical equipments for example global positioning system compass abney level and so many others like total stations so these are very much these equipments or instruments that help us in the data processing and data acquisition it's very much important that you carry out field work and also get your skills polished in these instruments isn't it and then acquire sketching knowledge in the field mapping skills based on gis platform so this is also very much important to sketch to go to the field and also map that now to expose oneself to variety of environments is also important socio economic conditions is also very much important suppose we live in a city which is metropolis and we don't have any idea of a rural india or rural world rural village and mountain side 
or a particular desert village we can never come to the real hand experience unless we expose ourselves to such environments so especially in geography which is about variety of places bio diversity geo diversity isn't it so it's very much important to expose oneself to various such environments that's the goal of field work then to provide opportunity for breaking the monotony of the classroom also what happens during classroom a particular study monotony keeps coming up every day same kind of lecture same kind of classroom structure gives monotony of classroom teaching so this is another opportunity that you go out and learn that is another reason that we should do field work and 10th and the last one is to render oneself to variety of environments that is already we have discussed that we should give ourselves opportunity isn't it to expose ourselves to give ourselves knowledge of various environments their socio economic conditions of people and also look into the context so these are the major 10 reasons that i could figure out that are important in order to carry out the field work so understand that these 10 reasons and the approaches that we have already learned is very much important when we talk about the field work okay so today we learned about why we need to do field work and what are the various approaches why is it important for a researcher for a social scientist especially for a geographer or a geoecologist especially to understand the context to go to the field and then propose a theory to first go to the field and look at the existing condition to update isn't it to challenge the already existing theories to open new frontiers of knowledge so all these are the important factors for which field work is must for a researcher for a student who has this idea of creating new forms of knowledge building on to a new knowledge based on the older one isn't it and finding answers to all the challenges faced by the world today so let's pledge that we must induct field work in our studies so thank you for today's lecture session 2 we are coming up with session 3 with further updates on the field work and research methodology meanwhile you can please subscribe to this channel the geoecologist on youtube and press the bell icon for updates thank you so much take care stay safe thank you